Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. In this episode of Anatomy of a Mattress, we are gonna dissect the avocado green mattress. So let's go. Okay, so we finally got the avocado green mattress. We've actually had it for a couple months now. We just haven't done a video on yeah. it for a while. But the, if you guys don't know what the, who the avocado mattress is, then you must have been either not ever mattress shopping or sleeping under a rock. I would say they have done a great job at bringing awareness to the organic field. Yeah, yeah for I mean, sure. they, they are the premier organic mattress. When I say premier, like the most well-known organic mattress company. Mm -hmm. So hats off to Avocado Mattress because we've been doing organic mattresses, natural mattresses for years. Yep. But Avocado, they've just done a great job at marketing it and just bringing great awareness to this category. So yes, we always get that, that question. What about the Avocado Mattress? Yeah, how does it compare against the Avocado Mattress? All that stuff, yeah. right? So let's open it up. Let's take it apart. Let's see if, you know, what makes them special. What's underneath the hood? Yeah, what's underneath the hood? What's underneath so the sheets? We love, do, we love doing this video because we, there's nothing hidden, yeah. you know? So, so yeah, Gabe, what's the story real quick behind this mattress? Yeah, so the customer, she just could not get comfortable in the mattress. It was just too hard, putting too much pressure on the hips, the shoulder, mainly the hips. She just felt like it was just kind of fighting against her body. Right. More, it was all a comfort issue. Okay. Just for her. Here's, so here's a disclaimer. You know, a lot of these videos and these mattresses we pick apart, a lot of more comfort issues does not reflect the quality of the mattress because mm -hmm. comfort is a very subjective thing. Yeah. You know, but here is one thing I've noticed, like most, almost without exception, when it comes to people who have had an avocado mattress or who have tried an avocado mattress, the issue that they've had is it's always too firm. Yeah. Like, I mean, that I would say it's quite common. Mm -hmm. That's the complaint I hear. That's it's too, too firm hands for down. them. Now, if you like a firm mattress, it may be a decent mattress for you, you know, but if you're a size C, Deeper, shoulders, hips, more pressure there. You don't want to go too firm most of the time because that can cause more pressure points yeah. and cause that what she was experiencing. Mm -hmm. So, and but, real quick on that, that customer did say the, um, she's like, I am a side sleeper. And the customer did say, man, even with our pillow top, it might be too firm for yeah. you. And she's like, if her mattress was just terrible that mm -hmm. she was replacing. And so she's like, it felt good in the store. Yeah. But then she's like, yeah, I guess it, it, she was right. Even with that pillow top, still too hard for her. Yeah, that's, it is. Some people are more sensitive too, Yeah, you know? So this is, they have different versions. This, on a queen size, right now, the Avocado Green Mattress retails for about $2,100. You know, they've, you know, they came in the market, de, you know, pretty fairly priced, but their prices have gone up quite a bit in the last yeah. few years. It has- And cost has up. gone up too, so that's, Latest you know. prices have shot through the roof too. Yeah. But we've seen, yeah, this mattress right now retails for about $2,100 in a queen size king i think it's around 2500 bucks so but let's see let's see what's going on with this mattress yeah so here open. where's my little cutter so I'll let's start, start i'll start here and then you, you go the other side all right all right let's see all right so here we go we have so what we'll do is we'll get a um so this get is a the, measurement the, first on it. Yeah. Right, the, the height. Yeah, how thick is this mattress? So we are looking at... Uh, it's 13 and a quarter. Thir about, yeah, about just over 13 inches. 13 inches, okay. So so this right here, the support layer, and I'm gonna open up the panel too. Let's open up what's going on with this panel. Really wanna take apart this mattress. Okay, so let's a quick shot on the top. So on the top right here, we have this organic cotton ticking, and we, it's, t it's tufted. You see these little little bun looking things right here? It's tufts now, which is great. I'm, I'm a fan of tufting for the most part because you don't want the layers to be shifting around, you know, on when it's on delivery or when you're using it. So a common way that companies keep it from moving is they put glue on it. Problem with glue is if you're doing a natural mattress, you take away that natural aspect, you're adding more chemicals to the mattress, but also with glues, it takes away the breathability. So tufting, it keeps everything intact. It keeps it from moving around without having to add the glues. Yep. And it also so, takes away some of that, those body impressions too. It it's, does. It's not as noticeable. So here, let's, let's zoom in a little bit closer too. So I'm gonna open up this. So we're gonna just cut these tufts. So how they do it, they put a big needle through it. If you don't know what tufting is, and with this, threading, they go right through it and it just grabs it from the other side. So you got it from here. So I'm gonna just show you. And then on the bottom, it goes all the way through to here. And it's a pretty cool machine on how they do it. So 
you open up this top part too. Yeah, so let's open up. What I wanna do, we're getting the, the latex and the pillow top, so the pillow top opened up. Here it is. Take out the tape edge. All right, so we have this right up here. We have the latex, okay, so here's the panel. So let's see what we have here in the, well, let's open up the panel now. So we're going to take this part pretty good. So this is the ticking, uh, which is an organic cotton ticking, which is a stretch knit, which I actually like. I actually like this type of ticking. Now, here's the thing with avocado. You have to understand avocado, they really play that organic card really hard, you mm -hmm. know? And as of this, they did get in trouble a few months ago with some of their organic claims, which I don't know the details of it, but some stuff came to light. Now here's where some alarm bells go off. They do this right here. Let me see if we could get a little bit closer on the cover. They do have wool. So wool is a good part of the fire retardant and that feel. Here's the wool, but here is this material right here. This is more of like a polyester type fiber, a, a synthetic fiber. And I am willing to bet that this is not organic. So this is where I say a lot of companies, they don't disclose everything on it. Now, I don't know on their website if it's changed, but this is, um, yeah, this is a synthetic from at least from my understanding, this is a synthetic unless they found it cool. Yeah, and they could have changed at the time, like when they yeah. first made this. Yeah, which is, this is disappointing. I, this is disappointing where I, you see this with this, you know? This is part, part, could be part of the fire barrier as well, because a lot of companies will use this as some of the fire retardant. Mm -hmm. I know wool is a great fire retardant, but this gives it a little bit more loft on it. So no, this is not 100% organic. Right here, even even with this organic, like you see these threads, if you could zoom in right here, there's a little bit of more of that polyester too, which the only reason why I'm being such a stickler is because they do go really hard on the organic story. Yeah. You know? So now here is the, let's see, Gabe, how, what do we have right now? This is Dunlop latex. Dunlop latex, it's a good latex. It's, I'm not sure exactly where they get their latex, but you got Dunlop and you got Talalay latex. We actually have a video that tells the difference. It's about two inches. This is about two inches, okay. Two inches uh, in the top, pillow top. Yep. Let's see what we have here. Probably another two. Yeah, Ooh. another two inch. Gotcha. So, and I believe on their website, on the pillow top, they say two inch, four inches in their comfort layers, this which is, is good. This is D65, what it says right here. Is that what the it, density is? Uh, D65, yeah, so what is that, like a medium? We, we classify it as a medium. Yeah. With how we use it. Yeah. You know? So with latex, there's different densities. There's different firmnesses. You know, with Dunlop, they do the, you know, I think from D50 to D55 on the softer side, the lower the number, the higher it goes. Some companies use ILD, but Dunlop common is like D55, D65, D75. So the higher the number, the firmer it is. So yeah, this is gonna be a more of a um, medium. Yeah. So, and then this right here, another Dunlop is gonna be same thing, same D65. Um, this one, it, I don't see the density on it. Uh-huh. Here, it's a D65 as well. Also D65, which is a medium. Yeah. yeah. Now the complaint that this customer is having was it's still too firm, like four inches cushioning in the comfort layer. That's a decent amount of cushioning. Yeah. But again, like I said, we get that quite a bit from customers. It's too firm, but why is it too firm? Well, one issue is, is like, if you're going with latex, it's really hard with latex to get like really soft. If you're like looking for a super soft mm -hmm. feel, Dunlop tends to be a firmer type of latex. Dunlop is gonna be a lot harder or firmer than Talalay latex. So it's always gonna err on the side. It's gonna be firmer. Yeah. Also, the fact that you're tufting it too, tufting it does firm it up a little bit yeah, too. Yeah, it keeps it. So one of the benefits of latex is that it conforms and moves with the yes. body and stuff and has a good like pressure relieving material. Yes. But once you tuft it, it compresses it and then it's not, it takes away some of that, you know, that the ability to just flow with your body. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, so it is like, I could totally see why it's firmer, you know, yeah. um, this material right here. This is a, um, a non-woven, it is, this is not organic as well. If you're trying to go like super, super hardcore organic, right. this is not an organic. 
you yeah. know? So this is going to be more of a synthetic. Now, is this something someone should be really concerned about? No, I don't. I really don't yeah. think so. As far as like, if it's like, hey, I want my mattress to be like natural without like the harsh chemical off gassing, then I wouldn't be, you know, concerned with this material. Well, this, this, no, what this but. material is, like same thing is, is with this material yeah. is this, if you've had wear one of those masks on your face, it's the same type of material. Yeah. That is that is used on the mask with the face mask. The reason why I know is because during yeah. the pandemic we could not get this material for our for any of our mattresses because yeah. it was all used for masks. And the coils so, too. The coils had issues because it was yep. being used for masks. Yep. So, yeah. And and again, the only reason why I'm being a little sickler is because if you're hardcore organic it's this is not going to be right organic. there's other companies that would, that go a step further when it comes to the organic mm -hmm. so this will be a like, organic light yeah. you know we've used this material on our mattresses mm -hmm. you know it's organic it's natural is it going to yeah. off gas the things that you want to really be careful if you're trying to be just healthier mm -hmm. the foams the foams that's yep. big which you're okay with the foams yep. the glues true which you're okay and the chemical fire retardants which yep. This mattress, I would say, is wool. It, yeah, it it's, hits it. it's wool, you know, but it does have this. Right. It has that that synthetic fiber on the inside. So, but for the most part, you know, this mattress does hit on the main and most important things when it comes to trying to sleep cleaner, trying to stay healthier. Mm -hmm. So now here we go. Let's see. On the quilting now, so we got two inches here, two inches there. Let's open this up now. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. If you want to just give them a you don't have to go too close, but you see right here. Okay, so we have, this is gonna be so these are a legged coils. and flat coil system. Yeah. This looks like it's a zoned coil system. So this is, the head is on that side, foot is on this side, so, you know. Smaller, firmer coils, one along if, the edges. If I you do, can see right here. I do like that. Yeah, so know. around the edges, this was called the quantum edge, right? So the mm -hmm. quantum edge had the, the smaller coils, yep. right? And they were closer together, even though they were actually a lower gauge. Lower gauge is just oh, closer you... and more. Time out. Let's gonna find Gabe's little toy. One second. All right. All right. So had to take a quick break. Well, Gabe found his toy with this. So this is the coils. This is the, the pocketed coil system. And like I was saying, this is a it's a leg and a plat comfort core or a zone coil where you have that quantum edge. And then this is interesting though, look at this real quick from a zoom. This is, if you see here in this middle part, you have smaller coils, like the same diameter of these, this outer coil. And then you have the bigger coils here. That's a zoned coil, which the idea with the zoned coil is that it's supposed to give you more support in the middle part and the softer where the shoulder's at. It's good in theory. I actually really like the, the concept of it. Here's, here's my issue when it comes to zoned coils where not everybody's zones are gonna be the same, you know? Let's say you have a couple, one person is six foot four and the other person is five foot two, then their zones are gonna be differently. Yeah. It's just, it isn't gonna line up and that's where there's some inconsistencies with the zones. It works for some people, some people it's hitting them in the wrong spot. Yeah, and that's also why, some are heavier at the, in the hips and the waist, yes. some are lighter and it's like maybe heavier, you may feel like you're going in a little bit more, so it might yeah. be okay, it's just, you might hate that. Yeah, it's not, that's why we don't do zone coils because there is, we can't, it's really hard to get everybody's zone. A little bit more variables. There's a lot more variables when it comes to that. And you know, for some, like we'll do custom stuff on a case by case basis for the zones, we've done that. But for the most part, if we find that if you just get a good support that conforms to them and also the pressure relief, you're gonna cover. You're gonna be able to get that support and get that comfort that you need without having to zone it. So yeah. that's our philosophy. That's what we found that works best. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it does make a good story. Zone coils, they've been doing it for years or zone. They've done little torsion bars, bands, so many different ways they've addressed the zone part. A lot of it is marketing, but right. it is, that's that's our opinion on zones. But so let's see if we get a little closer so we can just see the, what, the thickness of the coils. So here's coil gauge 101. So the coil gauge is the thickness of this wire. So let's see how thick this wire is. So the, here's a, the lower the number. Okay, this 14. is about a 14, 14 gauge wire. Yeah. Which 14 gauge, gonna yeah, 15 through. is gonna be. So the higher the number, the thinner the wire. Okay, the lower the number. The lower the number, the thicker the wire. Yes. So this is, you see it's a smaller diameter. But look how much thinner that wire. I'm gonna guess 17. That's what I'm thinking too. There we see. go. It's a 17 gauge. Because 18, 18, 18 is not going to fit. Go. All right. So yeah, 17 gauge wire on here. You know, and the 
here's where you don't go coil count like coil count people think oh yeah the, the more coils the better it is like this has a lot of coils on the inside you know mm -hmm. but it's a thinner wire yeah. you know a lot of coils on the outside but it's a thinner wire you know but they're all compressed together mm -hmm. so coil gauge does not equate to quality all right. the time you know, if you're comparing apples to apples, it might be a good little starting point, but it's not the end all be all, is this a good match? More to it than that. Yes, right? yes. And that's where you get some of these inflated coil counts where they're these tiny little coils, yeah. you know, or these little micro coils on some of them. So, okay, I mean, just real quick, I'm going back to the zone. Where's that tape measure, Gabe? Right here. So where the zone, let's here, let's measure it. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer in. So on the edge, we got about three inches of that edge support, which this gives you a firmer edge. Yep. I, I am a fan of this where you have the firmer edge. Um, but from the zone, like let's see from the starting part of the zone to sure. the, he the head of the mattress. So how many inches is that? That is uh, about 32 and a half. Right? 32 and a half. Okay. And then let's see it on the other side real quick from here. So we have about the same? Same. About 32 yeah. and a half. Yeah, 32 and a half, 33. So, and then, like I said, like not everybody's hips and back and lower lumbar area is gonna be at that same spot. That's mm -hmm. why there's so much variable when it comes to the zones, you know? So now let's go a little bit deeper with this mattress. So and we're on the, now here, it looks like they use cotton around the border yeah. of this, which it's it's a lot better than that polyester material that they're in. But here is a little bit more of that. This is the, the fire retardant that they would use. Mm -hmm. This is not wool. This is not a natural fire retardant right here. This is going to be a synthetic. So, <clears throat> and this is cotton, which I assume they're using organic cotton. Yeah. FYI, cotton is one of the most um, um, heavily pesticide crops there is so if you're gonna get anything with cotton you make sure it is an organic cotton which i i'm gonna i'm sure that i would yeah. imagine it would i, I bet you would. yes okay okay now on the bottom layer too so here they have this little base layer on the bottom of latex what do we have right here an inch okay about an inch inch okay inch of uh, latex on the bottom gotcha okay now that that doesn't really it's not gonna affect the pressure relief of the mattress it just you know gives it a little bit of cushion on the bottom so when you see five inches of latex don't use that to compare you know because the main part is the four inches on the top two and two you know what i would like to do real quick is just take the width of the uh, coils okay let's do that because pocket coils known to can be known to accordion yeah. Right. And they, so this is a queen size. So it should be 60 inches wide, right? Mm -hmm. Give or take 59, whatever. Let's see if we could get a little bit closer in. So you hold the uh, natural latex. Okay, at least from this model, they get another latex from Lianne. Lianne, from what I've seen in the past, I actually oh, yeah. like their latex. Yeah, I like their Dunlop. Yeah, yeah I like their Dunlop latex. There you go. I'm not sure if they're doing Lianne anymore, you know, but I know they were doing it in the past. And they so. could be sourcing it from so many different yeah. places now. As there's... Okay. So as you look, if you look at the, the coils, right? It's about 56 and a half inches. Yeah, right. that's a good point. So, so. 60 inches. Kind of lose a little bit of of, of the um, you can lose it on pocket coils, right? Some, well, somewhere. yeah, when we were using, so we used to use the same type of coil system without the without the the, the zones, but from the leg of the plat, and there was an issue with the accordion effect, we would call it. So let's see, let's stretch it out. Let me see. I want to pull it out a bit. Yeah. And let's see here. I'm gonna hold it. You just pull your side out. Hold okay. on. Let me get a better grip. So when we pull it out. See. So now it we gain at least, you know, an inch and a half, right? Because we're at 56 and a half, so it's about 58 now. That's from like the head part of the mattress. Yeah. So so when you're manufacturing in stuff, I'm, you know, it's 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 being pulled out. And then I think that's the length I, too. I suspect that's part of the reason why you put a, a, a firmer, I don't even know if this is that firm, but. That latex on the bottom. The latex on the bottom. Trying keep to keep a little, little bit more integrity. Yeah. So. So Let's here's see. The, here's the length. 
So how are we looking at the length? Length is, yeah, it's 79, so it's, I mean, it's right there. Okay. You know, it's an 80 inches, they say, but there's always yeah. like gonna be like an inch play. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and we'll tell people Half with, inch, inch play. The, with the coils, there's gonna be, give or take about an inch, or an inch and a half when it comes to the sizing of mattresses. So that's yeah. not, it's not uncommon for you to see a pocket of coil mattress kind of do that. It kind of shrinks in a little bit, right? It's yeah. not super uncommon. That's one of the reasons why we did, again, we yeah. changed our, our coil system because of that, that cord, the cording effect. Yeah, that's the big thing is that we started using the Texas pocket coil mm -hmm. where it's a four pack, which greatly reduces any of that Accordion effect, pretty right. much. Yeah, you know where it does give it a, and plus the, the stability is probably the, the most important thing. Yeah, when you have the coils like here, real quick, let's see if we can get another little close up here. So with these pocketed coils, they're in. You see how they're in rows. You know they're in lines, which sometimes if you're not, if over time these can lean a little bit, which we have found and can compromise the support. The new Texas pocket springs are going to have. They're in four packs. So they're actually going to be a bit more stable, which we found, which we like. Yeah. So for overall support and the stability of the mattress, I tend to like the the Texas Pocket Spring coil system. Um, not to bash on the on the, the legged and plat one, but this is a lot more common that you see mm -hmm. in most places. But there is a little bit more lean, and I and I found that it's not as stable as the four pack. So this is, we finally did it. The I mean, avocado, the this, avocado mattress. Yeah, not a bad bed. You know, it's, I mean, it's, it's latex. If you're yeah. gonna get a latex mattress with cotton, it's, latex is a great material, great yeah. mattress. Dunlop is great. You know, in our beds, we, if you're kind of in this market looking for a natural bed, we have the Dalmars. Obviously this probably compares closer to the, our Dalmars right. or Soledad mm -hmm. mattress, which are the Dalmars. We use Dunlop, yeah. Soledad, we use Talalay. We have a whole video on Dunlop and Talalay. And I think Avocado might start be using Talalay. They're starting to use You know, Talalay. here's the thing with Talalay though. You're never gonna get an organic Talalay. They don't, not. there's no such thing as an organic Talalay. Right. So yeah, I would say those At are the comparable. At least as of this video, right? Who yeah. knows what they try to like, you know, what happens down the road, but as of right now, no, yeah, there's no organic towel. Yeah, and I would say, now here's the difference though, between their avocado mattress and I would say our mattresses is that it goes firm, medium, soft. We have that zippered option too. That zippered option allows those adjustments and changes yeah. really easily without having you to replace it because we have that 10 year love your mattress mm -hmm. guarantee. Had that, that customer had that issue, we could have oh, opened yeah. it up, swapped out the latex, even went from Dunlop to Talalay. Like we could have done, you know, some stuff with that, right? Yep. Yep. So, but overall, it's not a bad bed. You know, they've done a great job with their organic story. Mm -hmm. But if you want to see something like more variation with softness and all, you know, give us a call. Yeah. You know, a little, little shameless plug. But yeah, I hope this helped you guys. I hope this was interesting. I hope this, you know, made you took you one step closer to finishing your mattress shopping journey. Like I said, we have the Dunlop and Talalay video. We have a couple other videos of taking apart mattresses. If you have any questions, just let, you know, give us a call, you know, or put it in the comments. If you're in that like natural space, like you're looking for a natural bed, we actually have a little guide, like a natural mattress guide too, that you can download on the link below. It gives you like tips on like buying a, a natural mattress. So I hope this helped you guys. Give us a thumbs up, share this video, subscribe. Thank you, sleep well.